but we're going to take the old frontier cutter over and use it and we're going to see how it works one of the things i will tell you about this type of cutter that's a three-point mount style is they're definitely a lot easier to move down the road or through gates and so forth uh, it's sure it is a definitely a big difference there and this cutter will go through about a 10-foot gate so that's pretty cool that's that's really nice so you ever been roading your tractor and you have about 400 people that are just rude as they can be oh yeah you deal with it you just move on well it's about I'd say it's right around two o'clock it's close to it's a hundred degrees today it is hot and I mean it is hot out there uh, there's no wind blowing nothing it's just 100 degrees of pure Texas hot weather so I'm not cutting very fast even though with this disc cutter I can cut a lot faster than this the problem is is I have never been in this field and so I'm a little concerned about what's in here there's already some holes this is the smoothest part of the field so far and this is nice to cut right here uh, it's cutting very nicely the rest of the field uh, up farther up closer to the top had a bunch of rocks in it uh, and uh, holes So I can go a lot faster if I knew the field. I don't know this field that well, so I've slowed down in it. I'm taking my time going and cutting this field. I don't want to just fly through this. The disc cutter can handle it without any problems whatsoever, but I'm finding some rough areas and some bad spots in it. And I'm, uh, we deal in Central Texas, we deal with hogs. And sometimes those hogs will dig a hole and you can't see it. The grass has got it completely covered up. And it's a surprise when you hit it. Uh, it's not a fun surprise. It's not a good surprise either. First time getting this thing out here, but see how it works. It looks like I mean to set the spring a little bit on it. Right there, I just want you to see that. I hit something and it popped backwards. So you got it. What you do is you bring it down, turn it off, and you have to back up in order to pop it back into place, which it just locked into place. There's a rock right there, and that rock just made me. I mean, I literally just popped what they call the safety latch on it, I guess. And I have to back it up and pop it back in place. So that's the that's what you got to be careful with. Uh, that's why that safety latch is there. If you hit something, it, it, will, it will move it out of the way and allow that kind of help save your cutter. So. All right, so let's talk about a couple of things real quick. This right here is your safety latch. And this is what will pop if I hit a hole every once in a while. So what will happen is this is spring loaded and it will bust loose and allow this to go like this. It'll just, it'll just move out away from it. Now that helps to keep you from damaging something. This is your flotation spring. This is what's allowing uh, the float on this thing to how much pressure is down on it. As you can see, we're, we're cutting, we're not cutting low and it's because there's a lot of rocks in this field. And so I'm trying to avoid as many rocks as possible. It just means I'm gonna lose a little bit of hay, but maybe I won't damage you know, something really bad by hitting rocks. I might lower it a little bit. And the way you lower these is with this right here. So what I'm gonna do is push it, push, push the cutter back is what I'm gonna do. And, or no, I'm sorry, I'll bring it forward. What I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is bring, I have the cutter setting like this. It can go up to a 25 degree angle. 
uh, but I, I can I'm gonna bring the cutter down just a little bit so I will close this a little bit I'm not gonna close it much probably you know what I'm just gonna stop right there I'm gonna do a little bit at a time I'm not gonna force it <coughs> everything else looks pretty good you want your we're, we're not really right there right now but we're also setting on something you want this running closer to the middle as you can uh, on this particular model there's not a particular height like there is on some of them so on 16 to 18 inches or something like that here they actually are just trying to get you to run closer to the middle is what they're trying to do with this so that float needs to run middle so you have a little bit of float here and you have a little bit of float uh, over here on that part so you, you have you have this little bit of float also you can run your tractor in in the float mode on your hydraulic system that would be good to run that tractor in that that float mode so your hydraulics will allow the tension to move back and forth like this so if you hit something kind of solid on this side brings it up a little bit it allow that allow that cutter to come up a little bit or it allows the whole cutter to move a little easier so if you can run it on a float mode that would be good it takes a little bit of takes a little bit of pressure takes a little bit of pressure off your piston and that's the only reason I mean we're running in a good spot right now but we are running in float uh, and that it's, that makes a little bit of difference as well so in case you're you're, you're kind of wondering when I talk about float mode or you maybe you've not heard of it or know you not use this this tractor has a float mode and basically your float position looks like this okay on my particular on my tractor it's the book there are this handle here and you have you see where it has an arrow that goes both ways all that's doing is allowing that cylinder to float like this the, with the hydraulic system and that's what this is this right here is your is an up arrow meaning that it only is pushing it up and this is a down arrow meaning it's pushing it down or putting pressure to the other side and if you look at all your some of your other ones they're all going to have that same type of situation these two both these levers right here are just an up and down lever so this is another issue that I have to keep an eye on you see how the, the grass basically just starts to cover this up and I've only I haven't even made one pass yet so I have to really so I have to really keep an eye on that when I'm cutting because the, the side screens will get full of dirt and, and debris and mess things up really fast tractors start getting warm and hot and so forth so I keep a blower with me to help keep all this blown off and, and clean I will clean the condenser every once in a while things like that so cutting with this thing so far has been pretty cool it's a pretty nice little setup uh, I don't have any issues with it I've hit a couple rocks with it I've hit a couple places where the uh, safety uh, latch or gizmo has has broken loose and it's folded backwards on me a little bit and then I had to turn it off and back up and lock it back in position but uh, other than that it's been it's cutting pretty good it's got a it's uh, getting right down there to the ground where it should be and, and cutting right on through this grass portions of this field are real thick and then there's portions that are thinner but for the most part uh, the, the frontier cutter is, is cutting just like any other cutter would uh, it's cutting the grass and it's laying it down now the one thing I do not like and I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet is it does not have a swath wheel on it because it does not have what they call a swath wheel on it it's not throwing the edge grass inside so I'm running over part of that grass right now I'm going to cut it like this for right now to, and then uh, I'll look into that and see what I can come up with uh, I think I've heard that these those swath wheels cost like 180 bucks or something like that and it's a kit that you buy and you can put on it um, I may look into it I don't know yet if uh, there's all kinds of different ways of, of accomplishing the same thing I can probably make something homemade and do that make that same uh, type of uh, wheel or, or something that will work just just the same but it, it is it is doing a good job of cutting I'm going a little slower than probably what I would like to but the field is rough and uh, we're just trying to, to not hit anything that can break something I've already hit a couple of uh, large 
ant beds. Uh, I've hit some pretty good sized rocks, uh, unfortunately, and I hit some hog holes. Remember they, that those holes can throw you out. And I'm having to go around some some mesquite that are in here, unfortunately, as well. There are mesquite, little mesquites. They've been sprayed in this field, but I'm going around them. Uh, we'll rake around it and make it all work so I can bail that up. There's not that many of them in here. There are a few, though. Small mesquites, but they got thorns about that long. I don't want that in the hay. So I'm going around it, keeping it out of the hay the best I can. Uh, I have hit some green, small green ones, but they don't have any thorns on them. Or no, th no thorns like these bigger ones do. Uh, yeah, that's where we're going. That's what's happening. It's 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 getting the job done. Your ground makes a difference, though. I mean, it really does. You got you got rough ground, and I don't think anything is gonna cut through rough ground very well. So we got a little bit of hay cut today. Um, we're still out here cutting. We're gonna be out here for a little while. But I, you got you were able to see the uh, Frontier Cutter do its job. We appreciate everybody's been tuning in. But until next time, thanks.